Ah, uh, first I got something to teach you. Yeah, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer. Most basic of all the basics. Come on, to Route 1. D My dad's very special. <laughs> Clearly. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. Thanks. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. Yeah, it's gonna be me and Starfawn against the world. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. Do I have my team planned out? Nope! My plan, I'm playing it by ear. Th there are some Pokemon I probably would like to use eventually, but I I've always been someone who just kind of likes um, adapting my team as I go. Traps, call me gay? Uh, Starkfawn the Poplio. Oh good, it's it's dusk now. Gamer, hurry up, cousin. Then you're a Pokemon to use your agility, but I'm a gamer. I don't have agility. I sit here and I play video games for an almost living. You can't tell me to be agile now. At that point of my life is well gone. What? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so you know that wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out at you in tall grass, yeah? Now that you've got Poplio there, you know you can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah? You can also try to catch them. I'm gonna show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, all right? Just keep your eyes on the prize. I wish I could skip this. Is there a way to skip this? Can they please implement that at some point? Oh, Grubbin. Hello. I remember Houndoom is an exclusive. Yes, the Houndoom and Houndoom line is exclusive for Ultra Sun. I think uh, Ultra Moon gets Electric and Electric, I think. <laughs> Do I not know? Well, Starkfawn, if you want it, if you want to Google it, you can Google Poplio's evolution. Can I be named on a rock up for Island? <laughs> what do I not know? We even need some uh, coffee to skip it. Co oh yeah, coffee to the guy from uh, the first game. I love the fact that you could skip that though. You didn't have to listen to him. I, I wish, I wish they would just do that again. I would prefer to be an electric or psychic type. Or just generally a fast Pokemon. Hmm, okay, I'll keep that in mind, generalize. Well, I know the third evolution. <laughs> Wild Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you, yeah? And if your Pokemon get all tuckered out, you can always head home and rest up a bit, yeah? So, after a half hour, we finally made it back to where we were. Welcome back, everybody, to some Pokemon Ultra Sun. Oh, boy. Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. Name Solgaleo GGK. <laughs> Maybe that's what I saved GGK's name for. That might not be a bad idea. Why don't you have a little adventure of your own on the way to Iki Town? Yeah? Take good care. Yep, thanks, dude. Okay, I'm gonna save so that this shit doesn't happen again. So, we are good to go. So, we got a Grubbin. They evolve ultimately into Vika Volt, don't they? I think I remember reading that you can get Vika Volt a lot earlier now. Level four. I might be using a grubber. Oh, we saw Pikachu look really cool. Hmm. Well, let's give it a try. Let's see. Do it. Good little slave. Grubbin was caught. So who gets the lucky, uh, the lucky fortune to be a Grubbin? Let me pull up my list. You find it's best you shouldn't stick your hand inside. You'll get bitten by an irritated Grubbin. Oh no. Yes, I will give Grubbin a nickname. Okay, so picking randomly from the list, we have 
Nightfly! Congratulations, Nightfly. Oh, wow, that actually kind of works. Ah, uh, Zungle, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So, Nightfly, welcome to the team. So now we have uh, Starkfawn and Nightfly. That actually worked out really well. Oh, boy. It's a girl. It is a girl. I don't want to be a bug. <laughs> yes, I, I, I realized it's a girl. Why? What does that have to do with anything? Uh, will I be using legendaries? I, I already said that no, I won't be. I might, I might check out Necrozma. But other than that, no. These games are easy enough as is. So, you're brave. Which means you get boost to your attack, deep up to your speed. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be that helpful, but you might be strong. <laughs> Maybe he identifies as a boy. Uh, who knows? Who knows? These things, you never know. Ah, good Caterpie. So, I don't think I'm going to be naming everything, especially if I know I'm not going to really use a Pokemon. It's like, I'm not going to use Caterpie or Butterfree on my team, ever. So, um, so if I get you Caterpie, I'm not, I'm not going to nickname it. I'm only going to nickname things I, I think I might use at some point. Oh, Starkfarn learned Disarming Voice. Congratulations, Starkfarn. Starkfawn has learned a fairy type move. <laughs> Rip Caterpie. Yeah, I know, Caterpie just got totally destroyed. Ooh, hello. Looks like we got our first trainer already. Hmm. We're gonna, we're gonna start off like this. Crazy, I know, right? But I'm gonna... We don't have the experience here yet. I'm gonna have to level up my Pokemon the good old fashioned way. Bait and switch. Huh. New battle music. Sweet. <laughs> Starkfunk can now scream with his voice, killing things instantly. Like I'm a champ? Yeah, probably. Okay, uh, that ain't gonna be well or end well for you, Nightfly, so you're, you're out. So, hold on, what a disarming voice is power of 40, and it, it never misses. Okay, fair enough. I had to remind myself. So Water Gun is still going to be stronger, because we're not a fairy type yet. We don't get the stab bonus, and they both have the same power, uh, base power. Hey, Echo, welcome to the stream. I always thought the last trainer archetype was... <laughs> you know what? It's, it's kind of... It's kind of funny, because I could totally see that too, especially in the older games. Uh, the newer games, not so much. But I think, like, Gens 1 through 4, I could definitely have seen that. Uh, waiting for the day that Starkfawn evolves into the third evolution, and I have to pet him. <laughs> oh, you sicko. But it's so true. <laughs> Alright, we'll take that potion. And we'll fight you, too. Uh, Echo Echo, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, hey, Clara. Uh, your team would be made of Ethion, Houndoom, Hunter, Abra, Ab Abra? Uh, and Espeon. Well, no, I, I, I'm not actually planning on using Nightfly to fight. That's why I didn't bother to heal him. I'm not going to waste my potions. 
I'd rather use it on Starkfawn. Because Starkfawn's the one who's going to be tanking everything for the time being. One hit! One hit and done! Oh, when people got Incineroar, they always edited his... <laughs> God damn it. Oh, son of a bitch. I could totally see it, though. Damn it, people be weird. But people... People do what people do, I suppose. Number one root on the spectrum. Ha ha. Very funny. Hello! Rockruff is staring at me. Um, I will stare at it too. Uh, change positions? Stare at it? What the hell is going on here? Turn to the right. We just made it happy. Hi, Rock Ruff. Wants to play more. Okay. Uh, let's uh play peekaboo. <laughs> what are we doing? Turn to the left. Turn to the right. I don't understand what's going on here. He looks quite happy. Okay. Wave goodbye. Wait. Play with the little doggy. That is, a, that is adorable! <laughs> I don't understand what the point of that was. I thought for a minute that meant, like, Rockruff was gonna join me or something. Oh my god, he's following me! Rockruff's following me. Ha, GGK, I got a new puppy too. God damn it. Really friendly program, you should try playing with a bit too. <laughs> slide to the left, slide to the right. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> oh god, Pokemon can gain experience points by battling other Pokemon. Yes, thank you game, like I didn't know that already. Ah, more trainers. Do I still have, um... Yeah, okay, Night Nightfly's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna be A-okay to fight you. Oh, it's an average dog. <laughs> Music's... I don't know. Music's kind of uh, funky. I think you kind of like it. Ah, the Alolan Ratata. The darkest of all rats. Uh, what do I think about... Uh, Pukumuku. I think the I think the idea behind him is really interesting. Hey, Crimson! Wow, thank you for the cheer. First time seeing you stream. Found you from uh, Persona 5. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Crimson. I'm glad you're here and uh, enjoying the stream. Um, I think my fly was going to die if I had you fight. <laughs> large cheer. Yeah, it was a large cheer. Thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. You you have no idea how much that helps. Bit. Okay, we're gonna probably have to use a. Is Fairy super effective against Dark? I don't remember. Oh god, that's bad. The, I remember everything about type advantages and matchups except for the Fairy type. God, my old man brain. I can't. I can't think of Fairy and how that connects the thing. Fairy is super effective against Dragon. Super effective against Fighting. I don't think it's super effective against Dark, but I don't think Dark hurts Fairy types very well. Oh, it is super effective on Dark. Oh, okay. Yep, we're going to use it then. I wonder, though, is the super effective more potent than the stab? Well, it doesn't matter. I can kill the one hit anyway. Dark fighting and dragon is weak to fairy. Ah, gotcha. Okay. You hit level 5. Fantastic. Okay. Because I know fairy is weak to poison and steel. And that's about it. I think um, Fairy only does half damage to fire as well. If I'm remembering correctly. Uh, Suli Heart, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I'm wondering if I should double back and heal. Because, uh, 
Looks like we got these schmucks in front of us. So this is what they call a festival. It does look like the people are having fun. That's metal as fuck. <laughs> uh, not that they should. As though this was any time to celebrate. Ah, okay. So I was right. Okay, wait. I need to hear the... What is this music? These are kind of the, the, the new characters. You don't have to try so hard to act like you're not interested, you know. Maybe a festival isn't so bad sometimes. The aura measurements are pretty high, too. Are they? It's only thanks to the Blinding One that Alola is overflowing with such brilliance. The Blinding One? Okay. I didn't know Atua was here. Though the Blinding One is left, uh, is left in such a state now. So dark and enfeebled. We just gotta make sure the Blinding One can shine like it used to again, right? So let's get started by having a look around. Okay. Hi. You are likewise new to the shores of Alola. A fellow traveler from a distant land. Okay, thanks for being cryptic, crypty McCrypt fuckface. What the hell? I have no idea what any of that was about. Praise be to Atua. Oh no, not another cult. Yeah, they do not look human one bit, do they? Hmm. What are you doing at stats here? Uh, 12 attack, 9 speed. You might actually finally be at the point where I could start using you in fights. I think you'd be okay. HP's a little low, but you're a bug type. What, do I, what, what, what else can I expect? He was Captain Obvious when he said you're not also from Alola. Yeah, I know, right? Mm, the Alola region is made up of four islands, and each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to these great Pokemon guardian deities for always remaining by sides. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, but at the least every last one of us here goes all out. Alright, well, thanks, I, I suppose. I wonder, is there anything for us to, like, snag over here? Hmm, I'm not sure feeling of being watched. Now, is there stuff for us to grab in these houses? Opening a window. What could he be now? I don't know. I, how am I supposed to keep track of your family, lady, if you don't do it yourself? For you, kid. There was a wild Pokemon when we got her, but now she's like part of the family. I know. Dogs are like that. I love dogs. And she's back. <laughs> it said that ancient peoples rode over the waves and seas together with their Pokemon to settle the Alola region. People interact with Pokemon in their own different ways. Oh shit. Uh, how would a female... <laughs> I, I don't know. Ho! Oh, how's it, gamer? Man, I thought well, you'd never make it. Me and Litten have been waiting for ages. Hold on. Did anyone explain to you about tonight? No? We just told to be here. Oh yeah, right on time. But to what exactly? Damn it, Nebby, stay in the bag. Full powered festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, pitting our best moves against one another in friendly competition to please our guardian. Woo. <laughs> so you two will be taking part in the battle? 
I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another since they so often end up getting hurt, but I'll be sure to watch you both. Hmm. I heard that Lily is less of a... Um... Less of a... Uh, afraid person? Overall? So, I don't know. Apparently Lily's got like a stronger personality now. Are, are you ready for this Pokemon battle? Uh, yeah, sure. Lay it on me. What could possibly go wrong? I'm leaning with a bug type against a fire type. That's what could possibly go wrong. Oh, shit. No! <laughs> I screwed up. I didn't think about that. I want Gamer to give the, the Godfather voice to <laughs> I totally should. Oh, I think I will now. I'm pray for your protection. For them and all melee melee. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's guardian deity, Tapu Koko. Before you stands how, grandson to the Kahuna. The big Kahuna. Let's have fun with this, Litten. Before him stands Gamer, one who was met with Tapu Koko. Sup? <laughs> what? What a curious little thing Tapu Koko is. <laughs> Grubbin, take care of my little gamer. It's not a grubbin, it's a nightfly. Damn it, get it right. As long as we both have a good time, then I think we can call it a great battle, eh? Yeah, sure. Gamer, how? Bring forth the power of your Pokemon. Sure. Who are you who are you opening with? Oh, you got a Pichu now. You know what? Grubbin might actually be able to handle this. At least be able to handle the Pichu. Ah, get your level higher. That could be a little worrying. Um, Vice Grip actually is relatively strong. It's squeezed. I'm wondering, do I open off with lowering speed? I say probably not. Probably. What about me? <laughs> How much damage is this gonna do? Oh yeah. Oh beautiful. Okay. Ah, uh, that charm though might be a pain in the ass. Hey Morgana, I approve of your choice for Papio. <laughs> Team Papio. I know, I, I need I need Papio for the, the Pokedex. Okay, keep going. The tail is gonna be useless considering we're using Thundershock. Damn it, how? I don't know how stats work. In before static kicks in. Well, we're getting lucky so far. Watch, we're gonna get it now. We knocked it out. Where is it? Oh shit, we didn't uh get hit with static. Fair enough. Alright, here's here's the litten. Go, Stark Fawn, go! <laughs> Douse that cat with water. Don't you dare burn me again. You're gonna get really annoyed if you burn me again. That would have happened if it said static. Uh, before dying. Uh, only uh, subs and patrons get named after Pokemon to start with. But once I run through that list, then then people will get named, uh, be used for names outside of subs and patrons. I will fight for you. Good going, Starkfawn. You killed a cat. Actually, a good point because that them and Nightfly actually got some experience out of that too because of the, the set battle type. Hmm. That actually might help keep help me keep things more balanced because it just kind of forces me into it. Oh, there's Tapu Koko. Who heard it yourself? Tapu Koko's song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it's time you take this game. Who to level 9? 
Z power ring. Sweet. Your Z power ring, a mysterious armband that can draw out the power that lies deep. Yeah, getting subs will be easier now with uh, gifting subs. So, people can gift subs to people. Um, we can bring forth the Z power. We kahunas can make Z power rings using stones like the sparkling stone that you received from Tapu Koko. When you will need to undergo the island challenge and collect Z crystals for yourself. If you wish to draw forth Pokemon Z power. And yet you have already, re already received that sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Koko took quite a liking to you. Or perhaps it has a mission for you. Well, it's time for you to get out there and start your island challenge. Visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what that mission is. <laughs> every island? Four islands! You'll travel to each of the four islands here in the Alolo region. The island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer. The island challenge champion. Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. But I'll let Kahuna Hala explain the details. Well, we already know this. Well, I already know this. It's a journey to overcome your own limitations as you travel the far corners of Alola and meet with others along the path. It is the great adventure that children in the Alola region embark upon, along with their Pokémon once they reach 11 years of age. Oh, right, we're 11. We're not 10. Oh, no. We're 11. Huge difference. One for you as well, Gamer. Please do give the island challenge a try. Sweet. Yeah, doing the island challenge is the best way to really get to know a lover. Do, do. Tapu Koko is amazing, isn't it? I hope I can meet it again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. Damn it, Nebby. Yeah, <laughs> me too. It saved you as well, didn't it? And left you with that sparkling stone, even though you were a stranger to this place. I suppose it's time we get you kids home, yeah? Nebby, Alola is full of all kinds of wonders, isn't it? Uh, some people were hoping that Gardevoir would have an Alola form. Yeah, I know, that's, that's kind of a, a shame. Whoa, hello. Whoa, where, where did you guys come from? A series event. Celebrate drawing forth one's full power. Seems like you're enjoying the show. Did you want to take part in battles too? Don't be silly, we are here to investigate and learn. Even with all of our technology, we cannot control the blinding one's light. As we are left with no choice but to try and stop it by force. Yet it seems that the humans of this Alola can wield powerful ores. Yeah, what they call that thing? A, a Z ring power? A Z power ring? Its aura readings were off the chart. Do you think that's why they can control auras like that? Alola is definitely an amazing place. Let's go check the next site. Okay. <laughs> Team Robot, they're really pushing it. I guess so. Gamer, okay, you're back already? I thought you'd want to stay in Iki Town longer. No, mother. No! Especially right after that great Pokemon battle. Oh, I was just captivated to see my own boy fighting in such perfect sync with his partner. Maybe it would be a good idea for you to try that island challenge thing. It's something you can only do in Alola, right? But right now, I've got a date with my bed. I danced my feet off at that festival. Thanks, Mom! Yeah, night, night yourself. Ooh, they have awesome battle themes. Ooh, I look forward to that. I wonder what today will bring me. I don't know. But I couldn't tell you. A visitor. If it's Kukui, he'll probably let himself in. Yeah, I know, the dick. He just lets himself into someone else's house. He doesn't even wait for us to enter the door. Uh, watch them put the next Pokemon game on the moon itself. Ha! <laughs> yeah. We'll have to go to the moon.
Oh no, it's Lily. See, Lily is a nice person. She rang the doorbell and she waited. The professor said, Hey there, Lily. Bring me that great new trainer. Woo! <laughs> so I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab if you'll come with me. It's, um, it's this way. <laughs> Gamer! Oh no, not the mother! Not the mother! A little pocket money. Oh, thanks, Mom. I knew, I knew you were always my favorite. You already make me friends, aren't you? What a cute little friend you found. I knew Alola would be a great place for us. We'll just keep meeting wonderful people here. Me? Well, thank you. My name is Lily. It's very nice to meet you. Alright, it's my time to shine. Gamer picking up the chicks. Hey, you know that. All Pokemon games since 1997. 97? They came out over here? It was 96. It was 97 in the States. The games came out in 96, I think, in Japan. But over here. It was a year later. Um, how is Nightfly doing? Well, that's all fine. 29 experience to the next level. I think we're finally at the point where we can start training him on his own. Isn't it still a dump? Not that way. Oh, damn it. I have to go this way. Fine. Wait, what? Oh, down. Right. It says you can research moves better when he's surrounded by Pokemon. Oh, good for him. Since I'm not a trainer, though, I have to rely on using repels all the time. You do know that using repel keeps Pokemon from attacking, right? This game, I do. Cosmog. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. <laughs> Gamer Girl Lily. <laughs> it seems to have a very strange power. It used that power to save me once when I was in danger. But some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. Oh, 1998! Right, okay. I was blue first to come out. Was it blue? I thought both blue and red. 1998. Uh, that's why only the professor in Kahuna Hala and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Can you not tell anyone else about Nebby or what happened on that bridge? Please. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell anybody. Who the hell would I want to? Who the hell would I tell? Or do I know something neat? What? Ledge jumping. I know. I know. But what if I want to go in the tall grass? What if I want to fight things? There's trainers, too. You know what, actually? I, I think I will hold off on it for the time being. Let's just get this out of the way. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, Rockford. Let's go. Give it everything you've got. My body's ready. What are you doing with that poor dog? No! Leave the dog alone, you monster! There they go again. Pokemon Rockruff version. I've actually been um, opposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back. I'd need more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer, too. Oh, hello. Call a Pokemon. Call Pokemon Vita. <laughs> and that kid's is called bestiality. The professor, he never stops researching moves. Not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. I just washed his lab coat and finally got it clean too. That'll be in shreds. And I'm no good at mending clothes. So we'll just have to buy another new one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. You know, for kids. <laughs> uh, did I know the uh, Fake Rain Order has an event? Yes! I've, I've been playing the Fake Rain Order event like crazy. I've, I've gotten my Oda Nobunaga. And my Okita Soji, too. I got a very lucky pull on the uh, on the summons. Hey there, gamer. Thanks for getting him for me, Lily. Of course. However, I can help. I'm 
was supposed to be your assistant, right? Doc Ruff's moves were just so styling, and I was making good progress in my research. So again, let me see your Pokedex for a second. For a second, yeah? Okay, sure. Uh, that's not why I called you here. Well, what arrived? It? What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. Kukui's real research he studies. Oh no! <laughs> Shadow Dragon, why? See, there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called a Rotom. Oh, really? That doesn't sound like it's an annoying, annoying gimmick at all. I can tell you about Rotom. It's a particular, it's a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. Yes, I got Sakura Saber. I did. I actually did. I was so happy. Yeah, buddy, put, put that crazy skill of Rotoms to work. It's the next generation of Pokedexes. But it's only complete once Rotom has gone into this. Body specially developed for this. Or for it. Only way for people to Pokemon to communicate. Only a few of these beauties. Wait, a few? Does that mean there's other people with these Pokedexes and I just don't know? Does that play Grain Order? Yes, I have Tamomo too. I actually have a Tamomo as well. I do, I do play Grand Order. Your boy, I powered up your favorite decks. You came right here a helping hand, yeah? <laughs> Annoying gimmick in a Pokemon game. No way! <laughs> I I do find it really annoying. I hate the Rotom decks so much. I mean, functionally, it's it's fine. It works fine. I actually kind of like the UI they decided to go for, but I hate the color commentary all the freaking time. Check it out, gamer. Now Rotom can talk right to you. It'll take a little while to get used to its new job, but I'd say Rotom's taking a liking to you. This will help how exactly? Gamer hasn't been here in Alola too long yet. So I decided to give him the special Rotom decks to help him navigate around. Uh, thank you very much. He looks sad. He does look sad! Oh god, you can check out the town map. Hey, how? <laughs> Alola! Salty Breeze sang to me and brought me here to you! Uh, Grand Order's played on mobile. You, you play it on a phone. It's one of the few phone mobile games I actually kind of enjoy. Is that a loft? That's awesome! No, it's not. It's private. The professor's been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them. Who needs help? You, uh, right gamer? How? That's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. Me a little phone. Oh no, I'm sorry. So, Gamer, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Gamer, yeah? So that's the Rotom Dex, huh? It's kind of cute. Alright then, Gamer, you too, how? Get a move on. Okay. Sure. Just want to get this started. I learned the basics of being a Pokemon trainer to Pokemon Battle. Long road to becoming the Island Channel Champion. Trainer school is the first step. What about you, Hal? I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. I have no goals whatsoever. Ugh. Wish there was a Nintendo game that didn't hold your hand for 50 hours. I know. Oh, it's so frustrating. I mean, even in Super Mario Odyssey, I get frustrated every time we go between kingdoms. Cappy freaking has to tell me a, a game mechanic I already know. It, it's just, it's just how Nintendo does things. And Nebby likes you. I guess there's something about you that makes Pokemon feel comfortable when they're by your side. Lily, you take care of Gamer, yeah? When he gets used to Rotom, help him find his way around. I, I'm fine. Seriously, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm totally okay. Feel free to have a little poke around. Oh, I will. Oh, Lily's room. Hee hee hee. Oh, there's Burkrow up here. Craw, craw, craw. Very, very well-loved looking Poké doll. Several of Lily's books. Makeup bag and lens case. Huh. 
It's the sofa bed that Lily uses. It's got a sturdy lock on it! Damn it! I find it kind of interesting that in this game, it's not really the MC's story being told, but Lily's. Yeah, kind of. We're, we're sort of just like a uh, a bystander in that sort of sense. Snuffle and stuffle. Hello there, Rock Ruff. Do I get to play with you too? No, of course not. what happens when they focus on making games for the family and less for individual ages. Yeah, I know. I, I think Pokemon would do a lot better with older crowds if they just do some fine-tuning. They, they don't really even need to... What just happened? Everything went dark. I was about to say, they don't really need to do anything, I think, to the story or the characters so much. They can keep doing that, what they do, but make it, make it so that you can skip tutorials in some sense. Especially for older fans who've been playing these games. Um, and, and, and difficulty levels. I, I think those two things would go a very, very long way of making Pokemon uh, more encompassing. Being able to appeal to an even wider audience. Aren't you more the muscle than a bystander? Yeah, I guess so. More of muscle. What is going on here? Everything has fallen into darkness. Well, shit! Oh, we're back to normal. Don't forget to touch Rotom Dex when his eyes get droopy. What? Really? Rotom has that now, too? Uh, this must be what they call a solar eclipse. The sun gets covered up. The solar eclipse are not that short. Literally lasted all of, like, ten seconds. Shit, Monokuma has arrived. Uh-oh, Monokuma. Ah, oh, well, it must be some kind of good omen, yeah. Hey, Gaming Lord. You think something good will happen? I don't know. Maybe. Sure, a long time ago, Alola was cloaked in darkness. I would say that's when Alola's people and Pokemon blasted all that darkness away. With light. Now that you got that Z power ring, I hope you'll collect tons of Z crystals. Rotom Dex helps. It helped me use my Z moves twice. What? It's broken! Using Z-moves twice in a battle? That's not why he's supposed to be doing it. Come on, gamer, I'll show you to the Pokemon Center. Thanks. Everything went black all of a sudden. You okay now? Huh. I won't short circuit that easily. Interesting. Hmm. I don't think there's a way in here yet, right? For water types. Yeah, no, we can't, we can't go in there yet. Oh, hello! What are we fighting? They say Lola was covered in darkness when Freeze knocked this one to the crystal. It disappeared for 10 years. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, whoa, what the hell? What was that? That was like a scan. Excuse me? What the hell was that? Okay. I, considering I have Poplio, I don't really see myself using Wingo on, on my team. <laughs> I was looking, I was looking at the, I was looking at the thing. Go, oh, Pokeball, go! Catch me the Wingo. Good. Oh, is the Pokemon getting registered? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, so yeah, if you want Rotom Dex to help out in battle, you better get... You better... Better getting to interacting? What? Is it English? Uh, when you can... Well, I'll try. Nightfly learned Mud Slap! Nightfly also apparently is covered in mud or something. We got Wingle, though. Uh, 
Ugh, yay, the color commentary. Ah, uh, no, because I don't really plan on using Wingle. It's probably going straight into the PC when I get the chance to. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's dry up grubbing, shall we? Don't worry, Nightfly. You're gonna get the, uh... You're getting the, you're getting the blow dryer treatment. Where the hell do you like it? You like it right... Where the hell do you like it? Not there. Hmm. I don't even know. I could spend hours doing that stuff. He uses super effective move that freaking hold up pops up and he uses an all attack. <laughs> you just get freaking uh last surprise playing in these battles. Hey, another wingo. At the very least, you gained a level. It's all good. Way safely. Grubbing the god. I mean, night flight could be pretty strong. Who knows? I think my first trial. Oh, cool. Where do you like it? <laughs> oh, hello, slowpoke. Ah, so that's what you're doing. Interesting. Oh, I do want to catch you. I just... God damn it. I, I doubt I'll use Slowpoke, too. I actually ended up using Slowpoke and Slowbro for a long time on my team and son originally. Because since I started with uh, Rowlet, I didn't have a water type for quite a while. Like, at least the water type that I kind of enjoyed using. Damn it. I wonder. You know what? I, I, should just, I should just try to catch you. I'm not going to bother to try to wake Robin up. Attack card, you activated my trap card. What do you think dust form like him? Uh, I would actually enjoy trying to get a dust form like rock, to be totally honest. I think it'd be kind of cool. Though I think you can only get it between the hours. What? You can only get it between. Is it like 4 and 5 o'clock or 5 and 6 o'clock? I think in the afternoon or evening. Hooray! We have a slowpoke that I'm also not going to use. I I have no need for these water types, but I have pre marina. If we catch something interesting, that's when we'll we'll use some nicknames again. Make sure you the Pokemon Center. Follow me. Yes, five to five p.m. to five fifty-nine p.m. game time, not DS time. You talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to perfect health. Thanks, I'm aware. So you're a water trainer, eh? No. God no. I'm a I'm a I'm a multi-trainer. I, I use everything. Everything and anything. Can you actually um Get a rock rough in the wild with own tempo? Hmm. I don't know. Don't mind me. Let's uh get these suckers in the box. Uh, you guys weren't holding items, were you? No. No, it's fine. Totally fine.
The only way to get own temple rock rough is the internet. Ah, uh, okay. I think you can breed it too. Um, by using the the event one. You can breed more. But yeah, I don't think you can find it in the wild. Only the event rock rough. Yeah, yeah. I know. So uh, what in the world? Oh, hello. Hi, Tauros. Don't be going that way anytime soon. Yes, Lily. Yes, mother. I'm coming. Oh, we got all this new shit. Hmm. Too much crap. Way too much crap. Did I uh, heal the guys? I thought I did. I actually heal them, or did I just chop the Pokemon off in the PC? The gamer must have passed you too somehow. Yeah. Welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer. Oh, joy. Tutorial City. Okay. Uh, we picked Poplio. Four trainers. I gotta be four trainers, and then I'm apparently able to become Pirate King. Did you just call me Mother? Gets horrible flashbacks from Sun and Moon. <laughs> Yay, experience share. Learn things there that will help you on your journey, I'd say. I didn't heal, son of a bitch. I just went to the PC, then I forgot to actually heal. One of your students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you fought a species Pokemon once, you can easily see what type of moves it will work best on it in your next battle. Wandering about in the tall grass to meet lots of different Pokemon will help with that. Sure, I shall do that. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, I do need to actually heal. Uh, Roto, what's the matter with you? Okay, he's apparently happier. Weird, but all right. Uh, Starfoid's still stronger. Uh, later, gamer, hope you catch a Grimer. Hmm, maybe. I used a Grimer on my my original Sun team as well, but it was it was pretty good. Not gonna lie. Could still be something I do. 